because the printer, the printer, oh my gosh, she has one job. One job. It's like it's like having an ineffective intern. Ugh. <laughs> Why? It wouldn't even tell me what the error was. It was like, just can't print anymore. Sorry about it. I tried everything. Learned how to reconfigure the print head. Clean them. How to do test prints to make sure that it's all aligned. Which it was, because it's like a brand new printer. I finally came across a video where the guy is like, you either left the sticker on the cartridge or, or you need to shake the ink cartridges. And I was like, this could, this could not possibly. It could not possibly. Smart printer should be able to shake its own ink cartridges, let alone should the ink cartridges need to be shooken. We are officially into leg two of the 12 week year. In case you're new here, hi, I'm Caitlin and I'm trying to use the 12 week year method to start my own little book covers business. If you missed weeks one through four, I will link it somewhere about, but the general gist is that I make alternative book covers that you can cover novels and to create pictures on your bookshelves. I've been working on creating different collections as well as trying to do some social media and marketing stuff surrounding the idea to get it out there into the internet. So I'm gonna cover what I did in week five and what I'm hoping to do in this upcoming week, week six. So last week, I feel like I got a lot done, but there were still so many things that I had goals to complete this past week and they just did not happen. Part of that was to catch up from week four, writing some articles for the website. Luckily, we did manage to do that. I have one going live later this week that I'm really excited about. Like this one took a long time to put together, but I do really feel like it's really comprehensive. I do hope it gets some traffic. We'll see how it goes. I also have had already created the Catsby Covers Facebook page, did the test purchase, and I went on what I would call a couple side quests. So that would include the email newsletter sign up and a Google Analytics account so that I actually have a page to send people to if they want to sign up for the newsletter that I will hopefully be starting this week, as well as a pop-up on the website. I'm hoping to turn this into more of a discount type of thing, but I at least wanted it on the site and to be able to check that off my list. And Google Analytics is officially online. It took a while for it to start. I don't know if the word is calibrating or like tracking, tracking, I guess. I do use Google Analytics for work, but not enough to feel super competent in this. So when it's saying event count 73, I honestly, I don't know what it's talking about. So it's gonna take some time for me to figure out how to actually use this in a way that is like helpful to me. I am very excited that the physical option has been added to the website and to Etsy. So I'm gonna show you. I now am able to actually print the physical things and wrap them up and send them. And I have all the stuff for it. I have the printer set up now, thank goodness. My Etsy analytics show that, you know, there are some people seeing the listings and not buying. And I really think a big part of that might be the fact that it was a download as opposed to a physical product. So I'm really hoping this makes a difference. We'll see how it goes, but the only book covers I've sold so far was my test purchase, so. Doing amazing. <laughs> and on the actual website, there's still been just the one sale of somebody who got one of the printables packs. So I'm very excited that they did that, and I'm really hoping that I can kind of move some things along with offering the physical product. I'm gonna be doing a lot of test prints this week just to see how many prints I can get out of the printer before I have to switch the ink out. So I'd like to be at a slightly lower price point. This is like, in my opinion, a safe price point that I know I wouldn't go negative in how much it costs to make the product itself and send it. So I have it at 55 right now, but I am really hoping to continue to bring that down. But this is way better than like the, the 120 I thought it was gonna be when I was having to use like FedEx and Staples printers and all of that. So I did post TikToks, um, but they, they weren't related to this. They were mostly about how much I hated the meal prep that I made this week. Whatever possessed me to eat kale and chickpeas together, two foods that I hate, I'll never know. But I didn't knock these off because they really, they didn't have anything to do with the book covers really. And so I didn't feel like I could count them. By the time you see this, the first 12 week video will be out with the first four weeks. But as of right now, it is not at all edited. And that was because my most recent YouTube video as of filming this was like just a tiny bit of a nightmare. I had edited most of it while I was on vacation and it was on my laptop and there was a lot of issue and storage problems. This one right here, I will forever remember as being so scared that I was going to lose the footage. I really, really thought that I was gonna have to do this twice. Luckily I didn't, but it still took a long time. So that was the only video editing that got done this week. I'm hoping to edit and post the first 12 weeks 
either this upcoming week or the next one. Which brings us to week six. All of the marketing related stuff is pretty much the same as it is every week. I try to keep it kind of consistent, except for the addition of the email newsletter. I do have 117 of y'all now. I wanna start sending some fun book related stuff and then also some book covers related stuff to that list. If you are not subscribed, I'll leave a link in the description. Would love to have you. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't schedule too much for this week, knowing that I'd probably need to put more time into this in the newsletter. This week, I'm gonna be working on a Van Gogh set. It will be Starry Night because of course it will be. <laughs> and I wanna add a video that I made about how to actually wrap the covers around your books to my fulfillment email because I don't think it's in there yet. And then I wanted to get a business Business bank account set up taxes they stress me out and I would like to have an easier way to separate the stuff that I buy for Catsby covers as opposed to my personal credit card so I'm gonna try and pull myself together this weekend to go get that done as far as the health goals which was like my third aspect of the 12 week year that I wanted to work on it's really the same I have a hard time actually measuring this because I'll, I'll refill this thing when it's like half full and I won't pay attention. Considering the fact that my lips are cracking, we can say that maybe this one didn't go so well last week. And um, I never once in my life, I think, have been in bed for seven hours. Out of these pillars, if one thing's gonna go, it's definitely gonna be the sleep. Who needs it? So wish me luck on this upcoming week. And at this point, I will probably be handing it over to week six, Caitlin. <laughs> Week six by far was the hardest one. I feel like I just got my butt handed to me. <laughs> On paper, like in my plan that I have here, nothing got done basically, nothing. Also, a lot did get done. I will explain. Here we are where nothing actually got checked off. I got the Van Gogh set done, which I will show you in a second. It turned out very beautiful. I was very happy with it. And then this just didn't happen. This just did not happen. <laughs> so as far as scores go, a fail, <laughs> another fail, and like on the health stuff, don't even worry about it. But like that said, I feel like a lot still did get done because I was able to work on some of the behind the scenes website-y stuff that I need to work on. And then I was also able to work on a lot of new book cover sets, like actually get the files done, print them out. I have a lot of product photos that I really like. And when I, when I talk about printing, <laughs> I was able to print a lot of them to get the product photos, but when I say I was fighting my printer for hours this weekend, almost into the double digit hours, like that long. She's the worst coworker I've ever had. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our dining room right now is printer central and I got everything set up to like film a ton of content and product photos and get ready for TikToks. And I was able to film a lot of that stuff, but it just took so much longer than I thought because the printer, the printer, oh my gosh, it's st <laughs> it stopped printing. It's its only job. She has one job, one job. It's like, it's like having an ineffective intern. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got one set out and I was like, smooth sailing. I was like, this can be a great day. Like this didn't even take that long. And then the printer just stopped working. And I was like, why? It was giving me an error message. And it was like, it wouldn't even tell me what the error was. It was like, just can't print anymore. Sorry. Sorry about it. I tried everything. I learned how to reconfigure the print heads. I learned how to clean them. I learned how to do test prints to make sure that it's all aligned properly inside the printer, which it was, cause it's like a brand new printer. I finally came across a video on YouTube where the guy is like, you either left the sticker on the cartridge or, or you need to shake the ink cartridges because there's not enough air sending the ink into the ink head thing that the printer uses. And I was like, this could, this could not possibly be it. It could not possibly. It was. I needed to shake the ink cartridges. Are you joking? It's like, it's like a smart printer. A smart, smart printer should be able to shake its own ink cartridges, let alone should the ink cartridges need to be shooken. You're telling me that they couldn't design the ink cartridge to let the air flow. Anyways, that was a problem. Finally get that back on track. And then it's like, mm, can't print, sorry. Not enough cyan. So I put more cyan into it and then I get it going again. And then it's like, mm, sorry, paper jam. Learned how to undo a paper jam out of that printer. I've never had to clear a paper jam before. It was fine if a little pair 
perilous because when you open up a printer to undo a paper jam, it's like, hey, if you touch this part of the printer, you will never be able to use the printer again. Like it will break everything. And I was like, oh my gosh. Anyways, that was hours worth of time. And then we ran out of magenta. And so I was replacing the ink cartridges and stuff and that's fine. It's to be expected. I'm using a lot of ink. Eventually I ran out of ink. Like I did not have more to give it. So that had to pause everything for the day. And then I got a lot of really good product photos on Sunday that I really like. <laughs> I had all the cameras set up, right? Like I had my big camera who I'm talking to you right now. And then I had my phone set up and I had lighting and tripods and everything. Everything was set up. And my dining room where all this set up is downstairs and I had all the windows just wide open because natural lighting y'all I am so embarrassed I had it set up like that and I was like clearly like selfie talking into a camera I don't know how long these people were outside but I guess like I, I must have like finally shifted my focus to the actual outside of the window and there was a car full of people in front of my house watching me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> and for what? They were the ones in front of my house. I was worried because I was trying to use the natural light. I'm worried they think that I was filming them because I had my phone here with the window here and they're outside watching. Uh, Anyways, then I had issues uploading pictures and video that I took on my phone to the drive, and it's just madness. No, everything's still not even up there. I digress. I was watching this video a while back, and I'm sure it's like from a book or a philosophy or something about like trying to do something like this, like starting a business or starting a big project, and it was talking about <laughs> the pit of despair. And my friends, have we hit it? <laughs> so like the whole idea is that you start up here and you're just so excited about your idea and you just love everything about it. And then you start to learn more and you get to this point where you're like, how on earth do I do this? And you finally figure out, you know enough that you know that there's so much more to know. Like you start up here, like there's a certain amount of knowledge I need. And then you get here and you're like, the amount of knowledge I need to do this properly is fathomless. I feel like I'm there right now and partially it's because I ordered the product of a company that's already doing this very successfully. And it was just like kind of, it was really frustrating to get it and to see like what theirs looks like and what type of stuff they can do. And I assume it's because they're a whole company and I'm a me with a printer <laughs> that doesn't even work half the time. I'm just really debating on whether I wanna try and change my product to be more like theirs because I know that theirs is selling successfully or do I wanna stay on the track that I'm on and have something very different from what's out there. I'm just kind of stuck on it because they use a more, I think it's like semi gloss satin type of paper like shiny is that the word that I'm looking for and then they also had these really nice like indentations of where you fold the book and now the only reason you would need those is if you are covering specific books and these covers that I got were for a specific book series and so I'm debating do I want to try something more like that do I want to try the indentations and the photocopy paper like those type of things or do I want to continue with mine because I have more of a matte paper which I like because it looks more like a piece of art like painting as opposed to a book cover and that's one thing that I really like is that when you put the book covers together they make you know pictures but at the same time I'm not sure if that's the best Best material just considering the product because it is a book cover so I, I I don't know and I'm just really stuck on it if you have thoughts like leave them in the comments would be amazing looking forward to week seven um, most of it is gonna be catch up for week six and then it's also going to be just kind of more of the same I'm just gonna pretty much need to double up on Pinterest and TikTok and stuff like that and then I am really excited I want to look for some book talkers and booktubers to sort of give covers to um, if they're interested and they would maybe want to make some content about it. That's something I would really like to do. I also want to keep working on some of the SEO stuff. I need to put more stuff on the Etsy. I'm still working on um, offering the physical product on Etsy. Most of them most of them right now are still PDFs. So working on that. I also wanted to venture into interior design TikTok because like I've said before, I feel like there is kind of two groups of people that would be interested in this. People who are readers or people who are decorators, like interior designers who can use books as decoration. So I'm gonna be looking into that and seeing like what type of content they make, what they're into. This was a rough week, but um, I'm trying to tell myself that even though I feel like I'm in that like pit of despair section, after that, it really does increase and you figure it out. And I feel like a lot of people give up when they're in this part because I, I was feeling real low on Saturday, I'm not gonna lie. But I am convinced that if I keep 
learning and working on that I can kind of get out of that. And I don't just want to stop here just because it's hard. So that's the goal. Oh, I can show you the product photos. They turned out I was very excited. So I wanted to do a sort of ballet without being annoying about ballet type of thing. So I did a um, white and black swan if you've ever seen Swan Lake. And I really like how these turned out. I think they're super cute. I was working on one of the ombre sets. So um, going from dark to light and I have these in every pastel color. I would really like to do jewel tones. I think that would be really cool. So that's just on my mental to-do list. But I thought this turned out so cute. Like I, I love the sparkles. So. so all of them are not loaded. I took some pictures of stuff that I already had. Like I have the, these sets in different settings, but I just wanted, you know, a variety of pictures. I think that's helpful. And then I was working on the Starry Night. I have one minute left on this camera, so I'll see you next week. We've just completed week seven of the 12 week year. This past week was pretty good. I spent so much time video editing. <laughs> one of my goals was to obviously do this and that includes some pretty heavy video editing. Probably about 12 hours ish this past week just on one video which is a lot. But other than that it sort of just felt like a catch-up week I guess. A week where I feel like I was in motion on a lot of goals but not actually finishing anything which will be reflected in this week's scores. Let's take a look. So this past week was meh, I guess, as far as the checkboxes go. I did not do anything social media related to like finding influencers and stuff like that. That's something I really need to buckle down on this week. And I didn't get any of the kids designs because I think kids designs would be so cute. Um, I'm trying not to go too off task and stuff, but I do think there are some like really cute kids ideas that I feel like would maybe perform well on Facebook. I added a bunch of new designs to the site. I haven't gotten all of them onto Etsy yet, but that's, I feel like in progress. I sort of needed to tick one of these boxes off for like my mental sanity, so. And like I said, I didn't really check out any influencers. So honestly, I just need to suck it up and reach out to people. I love spending time on TikTok, so this really shouldn't be hard. It's just like the asking part that's hard and figuring out how I want to say it and stuff. It's not like I have tons and tons of extra money to just like throw at people to make content. So um, yeah, I, I've, I think I'm just kind of stuck on how to do that. Social media, this, this section I feel like does not fully reflect what we actually worked on this week. So we filmed the YouTube update and did the Pinterest pins. And then I haven't uploaded the TikToks yet, but I filmed a ton and I've been like editing a bunch of them. And so I'm sort of catching up from the past couple weeks and just trying to post a little bit more so that all of my boxes from all the weeks as far as TikTok goes are checked off, which would be wonderful. So consider these like halfway checked. I won't consider that in my score, but just a mental note. And then I did okay as far as the health stuff. There wasn't really anything new here. 42 per usual. <laughs> These weekly scores were pretty low because I am still behind, still catching up. Um, 20 and 38 is just technically a failure. <laughs> it's great for me mentally, it's fine. Like I said, it was very much a catch up week. So I was catching up on week six TikToks. Those are almost all posted. Catching up on pins making the YouTube video. There was like an hour and a half, two hours of footage in the video for the first four weeks because a girl loves to yap at a camera. So that video editing really did take over my week. And then I added some new products to the site, which I will show you. I really loved how some of these turned out. I like this ombre idea. I think I kind of want to update this with like, what if you drew on them, like sort of a custom type of thing. But I really had a lot of fun like, styling these, like making a vibe with them. I took tons of pictures of these. And of course the Starry Night one, which I'm also obsessed with this one. And I got to update a couple more pictures from the Dragon Scales one. I brought some of those downstairs so I could <laughs> add some more pictures. I thought these were super cute. I still haven't started the email newsletter either. I think I'm gonna try and catch up on the articles first and then move on to that. There's a few things I wanna do with the site before I start like really actually asking people to go look at it. And one of those things is somehow, somehow connecting the socials to this. I feel like this is very disjointed from social media. Like I, I don't think it's linked anywhere. I feel like that's a really important part of making it feel like it's a, a real thing and not just some like random sketchy website. Like to actually see like my face slash there's like a person actively here and not just like 
some site that who knows how long it's been up and stuff like that. So I want to figure out a way to incorporate that somewhere into the design. But other than that, it was a pretty slow week. I try to maneuver so you can see the covers because I did just film a video and had them in the background. There's the Monet, the Van Gogh. Over here is the yellow. I do think they're super cute. Pretty much an uneventful week. I'm just gonna be trying to catch up again more this week. Hopefully reaching out to some people on social media and figuring out a way to do that. Cause I really wanna work with people, but I also understand that people's time is valuable and I wanna pay them, but the bank account says no. <laughs> we'll see where we land on that. I have a couple more sets like ready that I want to print and just to see what they look like, put more mock-ups on the site. One thing I really want to do is um, do like an actual photograph and see how that might work. Also, I watched a video about this girl who had done the licensing process with Sarah J Mass stuff. It didn't sound horrible, uh, which is like really good news, but also like her art is amazing and I don't know how amazing you have to be to get approved by Miss Mass. Like, so we'll see. That's gonna take a long time because I will need to like really buckle down on that. I wanna really start pushing stuff on Facebook. I feel like if I can get a couple of the custom ideas of like turn your photograph into stories, I think there's something there that the Facebook crowd would enjoy. I don't think I mentioned it, but I have been joining bookish Facebook groups and they'll like, give a post where people can talk about their businesses. And so I've been trying to do a little bit of that. But yeah, mostly just checking along. Wish me luck. <sighs> week eight of the 12 week year is behind us. <laughs> Send so much help. This week went pretty well. I'm kind of just getting to a point where I am used to sitting with the feeling of it is not possible to do as much as I want to do. Time is a finite resource, but we still got some stuff done that I want to share with you. To the notion. This past week, I feel like I kind of got half of what I wanted to get done finished, and then I was also making up for some previous week stuff that I had not gotten done. So this week, I worked on some new designs. These floral ones, which I think turned out super cute. The main reason that I made them was to make a TikTok explaining how to make book covers and sort of like slide a pitch in at the end of the video. But I ended up loving them so much, I think I'm just gonna add them to the site. They took like 10 minutes to draw, but I just like, I think they're so cute and simple and have a very rom-com contemporary vibe to them. I wrote the Red Rising article that I wanted to do and that is getting published tonight. And then I also finished the Sarah J Mass reading order article. Like with the other ones, I used Surfer SEO to optimize them. So hopefully they will start crawling in Google. And I still have one more article to write as makeup for this week. And of course, contact book talkers because that still has not happened. That was something I wanted to do this weekend, but we were celebrating a friend's birthday, so gotta make up a little bit. And I still need to add the flowers to the website. For the marketing stuff, we got a lot done. We filmed this version of the video last week, got the pins, got photos of the floral covers, and I wrote a newsletter that I wanna send. I just haven't put it into the actual sender software yet because I'm trying to figure out how to do sort of a kickoff. The newsletter that I wrote is sort of just something I would send once people kind of know me. I don't want to just email them out of the blue because they would have signed up from getting a free printable or something like that and I don't want to just like pop out of the blue. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out sort of how to reintroduce myself and then I'll send the follow-up newsletter. We have been posting TikToks. I'm just kind of wanting to make up for the ones that I had fallen behind on. So I'm trying to like post a little bit more than just the normal four and then hopefully we'll be catching up shortly. I did post that how to make your own book covers TikTok and that got some really good reception and really nice comments. So I was very excited about that. And so respectively, these were 40% and 44% because I'm giving myself a half count for writing a newsletter. Also, of course, like I was catching up on TikToks and the Sarah J Mass Reading Order article, but I did work on some other stuff. So I am turning one of my wedding photos into a book cover set and I'm interested to see how this goes. So I think this would be a really cool thing to put on the website to be able to turn special moments. This is more geared towards couples, but it could be family. And I wanted to add a little sign at the top that is just the most cheesy, but cheesy in a way that makes my heart happy. Where it'll be like, out of all the love stories, ours is my favorite, something like that. So I'll show you what that looks like so far. So I printed these yesterday, but I haven't had time to wrap them around books yet. But I use sort of like classic romance stories 
and they'll hopefully stack up really nice. But these are all public domain. I would love to use non-public domain. And I, I've been doing some research, like for example, if I wanted to put like the selection instead of a Jane Austen book, like could I do that? Is that allowed? And I'm, I'm trying to do some research. I think I might start pushing some of this like custom stuff just to see if people like it because it does not seem like the holidays are coming up, but the holidays are coming up, my friends. And I think that would be a really unique gift. So we'll see how that goes. And then also just like side fun news. I made a book review video for Attached at the Hip by Christine Riccio. I have been following her for, I am not joking, like 13 years. I started watching her book review videos when I was 14, like baby high school, and have gotten to watch her career progress since. She's like one of the main reasons I started my own like book review YouTube channel. So to have her repost my video, of her book. It was a very special moment for me and I think a couple hundred people saw that post and came and checked out the video. It definitely did get some more views after she had done that so I really appreciate that. And I usually don't list it on the Notion but I have also been editing some of my YouTube videos so that has taken some time. But I would say overall I'm pretty happy with how much we got done this past week. Catching up on TikToks and reaching out to influencers probably needs to be my main goals this week on top of trying the custom photos stuff that I want to work on. But that would also mean making TikToks about it. So it just it all ties together in, in a massive tangled way. And I sometimes think that is why I feel like I'm always running behind because it's never just like do this one thing. It's do everything that is related to the main task. That can sometimes get a little overwhelming, especially since my goal for week eight was to make one sale on the website. And I have, I got a sale really early, I think like week two or three. So like in theory, yes, we achieved that goal. Overall, since there haven't been sales since then, I don't feel fully like satisfied with that as the fulfillment of that goal. So I'm hoping to hit it hard on the socials. And then of course we have our health column, which was so much better for the first part of this week. Let me tell you, look at all these check boxes. Look at how beautiful that is. And then can you see when I hurt my knee? Yes. Growing up in sports, I am not a stranger to overuse injuries, but I have never had an issue with my knee really before. So I'm trying to be as chill as possible about it and relax. I'm not good at relaxing, <laughs> but I'm skipping my workout and ballet class today in hopes of kind of recouping a bit. My knee feels a little inflamed, which I'm not loving, so I'm trying to let it like relax, hopefully. More time to make TikToks, I guess. <laughs> but because we did so good early in the week, we got a 58%. That might be the highest ever. For the most part, this upcoming week is just more of the same. We can tick this one off. And I'm obviously behind sending out two influencers. Hopefully I will reach out to some people this week. I would also love to work on just some branding stuff so I can feel a little more consistent across all platforms and stuff like that. Not sure if we'll make it to this. I feel like this is a little less important than the actual like products. Just something that I'm keeping on my radar that I would love to get to soon. But that concludes part two of the 12 week year. We are officially into the last month, the last leg of the 12 weeks. I'll probably be wrapping this video up and then I'll have another one soon with the last and final part. Will she get all of the things done? Probably not, but <laughs> I will be doing my best and I appreciate you being here to watch me flounder. Please like this video if you liked it. Click subscribe if you want to talk about more book stuff. My name's Caitlin. Thanks for watching. Bye.